What's up, people? Perry here with episode number eight. And in this episode, we're going to kind of do a little bit of housekeeping uh, just so that we can start to get to work on that build. Because you know what? I got some ideas and some things that I want to do over in that creative build. But the first thing that we need to do is to move our little horsey friend from that area over to here. Because I got a little comment that said I should name that horse Buck. And I really like that name, so we're going to name him Buck. But in order to do that, I got to switch over to survival mode, you know, just to keep things legit. And, you know, just be able to say that I could have uh, got a horse by myself. Because you know what? I have never been able to tame a horse. Well, not that I've tried or anything, but... I've been so heavily involved with creative mode that I never really got to enjoy uh, too much of the survival. And in this area here, there wasn't, well, there are no horses in this area, but um, so I never got a chance to tame one. But one of the comments that I saw is someone very observant saw this thing uh, in one of my episodes and said, what is it? Well, it's a mob spawner. Yep. You could probably guess by the ugliness of it. It's not too special. I just wanted to, to get something going. But the idea behind it was that there's a skeleton spawner down here. And that's how it all started, was I found a skeleton spawner. And I kind of made a little mob system out of it. But I wasn't really liking the fact that I was just getting skeletons. So I decided to, to make a little mob spawner. It's not a very good one, mind you, you know. It's not, it doesn't have the high efficiency that you would see from guys like Etho, you know. But, you know, it does the trick. It does the trick for me, and, it, you know, it works. So what we're going to do, we're going to switch over to survival mode. And you can tell I only pretty much play in creative because I just leave all my doors open. It's not really a good thing to do when um, you're playing in survival because then the mobs just wander in. <laughs> but, all right, here we go. And we're going to switch over to our survival gear. And let's see if I learned my lesson. So you shift and you click. Wow. Look at that. Cool. Now we're going to switch over to survival. You get to see my awesome typing skills game mode. Is it zero? Yep. You can see my levels have gone down considerably because I died. I died off camera course. Let's see. Let's get our stuff here. And I think, I think I need a saddle. I don't know if that's actually needed, but I'm not going to come all the way back because I forgot something. So there we go. I got a saddle. What else? Do they need, like, food? Because I don't think I have carrots. Oh, actually, I do. Um, yeah, I do. I do, I do. Because that's in the uh, skeleton spawner, and this will give me a chance to show you. So it's just down here. You go down this empty pathway. Turn the corner. Bam! Skeleton spawner right here. And we walk down here, and I got uh, I got a little setup going. A place where I can go grow trees and some chanting table here uh, all the stuff that I need in order to kind of just fool around and, and do random things while I wait for the uh, spawner to or the little well I don't know what you call it the little spawner slash catcher thing to fill up so but here's the uh, skeleton spawner I can play this game correctly there it is And so I should actually, I should change the game mode. That's what I should do. Change it to hard. Get your settings. Where's that other? Night only. Nope, not night only. Default. There you go. Perfect. Perfect. Now let's get some stuff. I have one carrot. Do they eat carrots? I'm not sure. Is it carrots? Maybe watermelon? 
Maybe they don't eat anything. I'm kind of... I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. This is, uh... This is new. This is all new stuff to me. <laughs> trying to figure out how to play in survival, but... Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put on this armor because I am a noob. And I will <laughs> see you in a bit. Alright, and we're off. Uh, you know what? I forgot food. I forgot food. I forgot food. Gotta go back and get it. And just in case. Now we're off. Now we are really off. Get my sprint on. You know, this is going to be a lot easier once I get a horse. Here we go. Now, just so you know, in terms of uh, orientation, the house is over there. And I kind of have to take the long way around to get to where I need to go. And I think... I don't know if there. I don't think there's a really a shortcut through there because there, there's. It's just like a big mountainside here, but yeah. If I keep on going this way and then basically I'll turn the corner there, there should be, there should be an easy way to get to the build. And here we are. You know, in creative mode, these look pretty small, but when I'm in survival mode, especially when you're looking from the ground up. These look pretty big. Wow. Um, yep. Here we go. Just up and over this hill. And there's those mountains that we made last episode. And here's our buddy Buck. Hey, buddy. Now, the... I think the idea to to get on the horse or to to tame the horse is you gotta you gotta ride it so you gotta, like right click nope nope man I've been trying to get you to the buck the entire time and you <laughs> are you 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 shift or crouch no nope. crouch crouch do you do you bow to it hello we gotta hurry up because the the sun's going down here. You want some of this? You want some of this? No? Shoot. It's getting dark. I think I think I may have screwed up. I think I may have screwed up. Um, oh shoot. Okay. Okay. All right. Don't worry, Buck. I'm going to save you. Don't worry. All right. All right. All right. So it says in the wiki that I need to approach the horse with an empty hand. So let's do that. Get that out of there. Now I need to write it. Huh? Hey, 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 hey. Huh? Okay. Empty hand. Get on the horse. Nope. How about now? Oh, it's going to take a while. Nope. Is it mine? Are you mine? All right, so we need to put a saddle on. So we need to drop it there. Get on. Aha! Away we go! Woohoo! It's dark. It's dark. It's gonna. Oh shoot! It's gonna be. It's gonna be an interesting ride back. Oh, don't look. Don't look. No, 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 no. Whoa. Um. 
Let's go around the other way. Yeah. So I think I want to be able to get this guy home and then I'll be able to go to sleep and then, then we can work on a little a little home for Buck here. All right, and home, sweet home, ish. Not quite there, not quite there. No, no, no. Nope, nope, nope. Actually, nope. And after an eventful night, Buck's here, he's here. He's in, uh, he's in our little survival build here. And he's kind of roaming around, stomping on the crops. So I think we're going to find him a little temporary home. So you're gonna come with me, buddy. Come on over, Buck. Come on over. You can uh, you can hang out with uh, these animals over here. There you go. Just for now. Just for now, buddy. Don't worry. And I got a little name tag for him. Hey, it's Buck. It's Buck. Woohoo! Yay! <laughs> I love it when they open their mouth like that. It makes it look like they're smiling. But uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna make him a little home. Nothing too. Nothing too extravagant or anything like that, but uh, I, I want to give him a little home before we go off and uh, get our get the creative juices flowing, you know. So I'm going to do that. I'll just see you in a bit. And here's Buck in his little temporary location. It's just something I whipped together in about five minutes, and it'll have to do until we can find something uh, better for him. But we want to get on with the rest of this episode, and we want to concentrate on the creative side. We want to get to that big build over there. So I'll see you there in just a bit. So what we have here is a little montage of what I was doing earlier, and that was building the little pathway up to the plaza level. And as you can see here, what I'm doing is just placing blocks so I can get an outline of where I want this build to be. And as you can see, it's pretty simple to start off with. And when we get to the side view, you can see how it slopes up. So the next thing that I wanted to do was to even up the slope, then start placing a combination of half slabs and sandstone blocks. And as you can see, I did something there I really don't like to do, and that is to place blocks over holes. I know there are some people and there are some people, some YouTubers out there that like to do it. And it kind of drives me crazy. <laughs> uh, B-dubs. But then I had noticed that in the original build, I had this pathway that goes around the entire circumference of the build. And that was something I didn't want to get in the way of. So I thought that the slope should actually start right there, right where I'm cutting. And uh, so as to not interfere with the pathway that I was already creating. Or actually the one that was already created. Sorry. And there we have the even out pathway up to the la plaza level. Except for the part that's on the original pathway. So then we continue placing half slabs and sandstone blocks. And the idea is that we want an even climb up to the plaza. But then I kind of notice that there's a problem. The pathway kind of slopes up too abruptly at the top there. And we want things to be even, right? And as you can see there, after I fussed about with it, you can see it is now even. So with the red wool as a guide, I started to mirror the flare that we have going on on the other side of the plaza. And that's important so that we can keep the continuity going for the build in terms of the layout. And once I'm satisfied with, it, with the way it looks, I take away the red wool and then repeat from for the other side. And that's what we have here. It's a good start and it's something to build on for later. Uh, somebody in the comments actually said to me, as you can see, I took out the, I took out the fountains and somebody in the comments said that I should take the the fountain and turn it upside down and turn it into a chandelier and I tried it out it's it's okay it's not bad it's just uh it's a little messy so I'll, I'll, I'll think about it I'll think about it the thing that I did here was I took out that mountain that I've been talking about taking out but with MC edit it's kind of a abrupt thing so you end up with these chunks here 
this will be smoothed out over time and I think what will end up happening is that this build um, right here there's gonna be some palace elements that go into here all these uh, these pillars right here will be merged in with the actual palace structure so we won't worry too much about this area over here but what I want to do next is to concentrate on the entrance which I keep on saying that I want to keep on building and you can see here that I wanted the entrance to start here so there'll be kind of like a door it won't be an actual door but there'll be like an entrance way here and you keep on walking up and the next thing that I realized was that it needs to go off in two directions because the palace continues this way and it continues this way so this is basically kind of a kind of a crossroads here and the next thing that I want to do is to start adding in some detail and some lights yeah so one of the dilemmas that I'm running into is that I kind of like the way this arch is. It kind of looks, it looks all right to me. But then as we go in here and we get to the uh, little crossroads area, I notice that it kind of, it's, it's a little too boxy for me. Can you see that? It's a little too boxy. And so what I want to do now is I want to alter this shape a little bit and try to figure out something a little bit better that will suit uh, what I'm going for. I'm trying to get more of an arch shape. I mean, you can tell already that, you know, it's kind of got that boxy feel. I don't know. Do you feel that way? I don't know. I, I think it, it feels a little boxy to me. So we're going to just try and change it up kind of like that. Let's see. You never know until you try, you know? I mean, that's that's okay try taking out that that might be something to go for I, I kind of like it I mean if we maybe took down this one here this one here yeah that's better I don't know if I don't know if this will work or not but I'll just try it out nope nope that's too much too much There we go. Yeah, why don't we go for that? Let's let's try and put these on here. Yeah, I think I feel I feel that this is a little better, but uh, it could use a little tinkering. Um, but what I'm going to do instead, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go with this for now. But if I come up with a better idea, that might be that might be a good thing to do. And so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to transfer those these over to those, and then down this hall, and then down this hall. And here we go. We've uh, taken all those patterns and repeated them down the line here. Um, again, I don't know how far these will go. But I'm assuming they'll go pretty much further than uh, what you're seeing right now. So the next thing that I want to do... Oh, and the other thing that I wanted to mention was that these pillars, they're not the final product. They'll probably get uh, larger in size and, you know, more detail and things of that nature. But for, for me, this is just a good idea to try to get a good gauge of what I want to do. Because, you know... Once you get everything laid out, once you start putting things down, then you start to get ideas. And this would not be possible if I didn't put any blocks down, right? So so now that I'm looking at it, you know, I can kind of get a gauge of, you know, the shapes and how everything's, you know, p being put together. But the next thing that I want to do is I want to merge this shape, which is this right here, with this shape. And in order to do that, we kind of have to create sort of like a dome shape. And this kind of goes into the entrance here. So the entrance, again, it's right here. And so I want to create sort of like a dome area. And it's going to be kind of cool to see it from here. I, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the red, the, the red uh, stained clay. But, you know, it's something that stands out. I want something that stands out so that, you know, it kind of signifies that that's the entrance there. But... Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to go ahead and make this little dome area.
And here's what I came up with. It's all right. It's a good start, but you know, the all these things are subject to change and we'll 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 get things figured out as we go along here. But that's one thing you have to know about me is that everything here can change and you know, turn turn things around and usually they end up for the better. And you know what? You never know until you start putting blocks down. That's uh, that's a really a good um I guess tip to have with you whenever you're building just start putting down blocks you know you never know unless you try right and so that's going to be it for this episode I know in the beginning we did a little bit of a survival thing but uh our our horse now buck he's going to be I, I feel he's going to be a very important part of this world and so I just want to say a big thank you to Hannah Mansford she's the one that suggested keeping uh buck in this world and making him a permanent part uh, and she's the one that gave the name Buck. And I also want to thank Arl Way, who had the idea for the fountain, turning it upside down. Still thinking about it, Arl. Still thinking about it. But we'll see. We'll see. But anyways, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to leave a comment about uh, any of the builds that you see here. Just give your opinion on uh, whether or not you like or not like. It's all good. Um, don't forget to leave a like if you like this episode and don't forget to subscribe if you're new here you can keep up to date on my channel with everything that's going on so that's going to be it from me always remember keep your head up and I'll see you in the next one